e to the square root x is a composite function. The outside function is e to some power, and the inside function is that power, square root of x. So to take the derivative of this composite function, we're going to need the chain rule, which I've provided here. The chain rule begins with f prime of g of x, the derivative of the outside function, leaving the inside function unchanged. Again, the outside function is e to a power, and the derivative of e to a power is e to that power. Then we just need to multiply by g prime, the derivative of that inside function. In this case, that's the derivative of the square root of x. Hopefully, you remember that the square root of x is the same thing as x to the one half, so to take the derivative of that, we simply use the power rule. So we'll multiply by the derivative of the square root of x, which is one half x to the minus half. Again, that's just using the power rule, and that is our derivative. And if you like, we could rewrite this as follows, e to the square root of x divided by two root x. And that's the derivative of e to the square root x. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and check out my Calculus One course and Calculus One exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.